Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So I'm Dan from Trading with Dan. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys wouldn't mind smash that like button and we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin charts. Um yeah, so basically all the charts, all the charts at the moment, um Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin, the Bitcoin dominance, the dollar index, the stock market everything everything is looking poised um for a a pretty exciting week ahead obviously nothing is guaranteed in in nothing is guaranteed in trading as 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 in life in general um but um on the balance of probabilities we are looking we are looking like we're going to have a a pretty wild week um a pretty wild week so yeah we'll just we'll just have a look i mean it's very easy to see here we are clearly up at this uh, macro level of resistance around 50k again um consolidating very nicely at the level um after basically testing it we could almost call it a couple of times but right back up here this is clearly bullish looking price action clearly looking like it wants to break out um if we then have a look at the satoshi pone for ethereum which if nothing else you can look at like altcoins um, you can look at altcoins as a as a sort of barometer for the overall kind of risk appetite in 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 uh, crypto markets. Um, and yeah, you can see we've had a big and a really, a really aggressive move up, um, blasted our way through two uh, two uh, levels of resistance, and and now we basically don't really have any. Um, I wouldn't necessarily look at this previous all time high uh, as any as as any level of real importance resistance wise. I just think this kind of area getting above here where we are now this whole zone which we just basically well actually we got through came back and or tested the very bottom of it and then broke back up again um, so that is clearly looking good but yeah realistically um we have just got uh we just got um we just got price discovery above here i mean we do have some levels this uh not spot 087 and then we do have um this not spot not sorry not spot not spot 115 we'll call it pretty much we've got that level up there but they are quite a ways away um and they are yeah they they, they will be pretty nice moves um so yeah the uh so the ethereum satoshi pairing looking good we'll look at the bitcoin dominance is obviously just a it's just a a sorts of um a derivative of that of sorts but including obviously the other altcoins um, we just extend this along. We are sat here, um, basically at underneath pretty much our our level of support before before realistically we just um, we just have free fall um, in in this obviously in this uh, this uh, asset also. Um, if we look at the dollar index as well, how is the dollar index looking for us? The dollar index, um, you can see we had this uh, important level that we were looking to get back below. We had this important level above, this important level below. This this kind of trend line, um, I'm not necessarily putting too much importance on this trend line, but it did coincide with the bottom of this horizontal support anyway. Um, so, so yeah, we broke below that and we have closed below that also. Um, so that clearly looking like it is uh, breaking down. Um, people will start to... Uh, we'll start to look at this as a reversal. Um, not necessarily saying that we're gonna we're gonna come down to to lows below this horizontal, but you would at least uh, at least target for um, for the medium term a move down to the bottom of this channel, um, and then obviously assess assess uh, assess the market and price action when we get down there. But yeah, so that breaking down as well. Ten year also just hovering around as well, so um, that's obviously not causing any problems. And then stock markets, you can see uh, just just consolidating, sitting around highs um, so unless the Fed is going to do something wild which they are clearly indicating that they're not going to not anytime soon obviously we had a abysmal abysmal job reports I mean I mean if you're a finance professional and you're basically predicting jobs numbers and you get it so wrong um, what are you doing what are you doing with your life <laughs> what are you doing i mean there's no there's no repercussions for these things is there it's just like you're all doing a bad job you just kind of got to all look at yourself and just be like well what are we doing here guys what what is that what is our what is our purpose in life but yeah abysmal job reports which basically means there is there is there is next to there was basically no chance realistically of the fed uh, ever really increasing rates or tightening ever um, there's only potentially them buying less so basically less of the less of the um 
of the the easing that they're doing um so yeah they they are basically in a corner so yeah stock markets are going to reflect that um so yeah basically what i'm saying is unless unless anything wild happens with the fed um that will then send stock markets uh tumbling um which i'm saying is basically uh, a very low chance of that um it's just onwards and upwards guys it's just it's just onwards and upwards and it is looking like we are at a point in the charts where we are going to get a get a decent leg up um, especially in crypto especially in crypto so um, as in the crypto charts um, even if we have a look at even if we have a look at good old uh, Peter Schiff's gold gold itself is approaching an important level um, an important um, 1840 level get above get above there even gold itself even after they absolutely terrorized it in the early in the in the wee Sunday the wee Sunday morning uh, trading trading hours um, like it all the way back up we, we, we retraced almost all of that pretty quickly anyway but most importantly we got back above the important level they smashed us below um and yeah i mean we're looking like we're going to take out 1840 again and uh, just onwards onwards and upwards in gold as well clearly it will uh, underperform bitcoin because um because it is just a uh, it's just a it's just a pet rock isn't it after all <laughs> um no i mean in 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 all in all in all seriousness gold, gold basically is obviously is losing is losing out uh to bitcoin money that could potentially get allocated to a gold is clearly getting allocated to bitcoin um people like peter schiff may say whatever they want to say about it but um there's clearly more use and um, we don't have any nfts um any nfts built on gold i guess you have jewelry uh maybe jewelry you could class as the uh, as the nfts in gold um they're all different unique you own them you have them um but um yeah it's just not it's obviously it's just not as um as um has a as fun and new and at, at the end of the day um everything is down to the second derivative everything is down to the rate of change um so the rate of change basically of um of adoption of use in in crypto in bitcoin as opposed to the rate of change of adoption use basically people wanting it in gold um is clearly like exponentially higher um therefore it's just gonna it's gonna exponentially outperform because yeah every everything everything is everything comes down to the second derivative and the rate of change um prices of things can be going down but if that if that that velocity down starts to slow um then um clearly that is a that is a big shift in in whatever is going on in those uh in those underlying markets um, but yeah, so yeah, even but even gold, even gold is starting to starting to look better here as well. Um, but yeah, but yeah, but speaking of crypto uh, uh, compared to gold, I mean, basically, um, crypto is um, is one of the is pretty much the fastest um, adopted technology um, after the mobile phone. The mobile phone was pretty much the fastest adopted technology in history, um, and yeah, I mean, and crypto bitcoin ethereum if you kind of count like the wallets counts and the people using it um is actually outpacing outpacing um mobile phones and if you extrapolate um the growth going forwards i mean it's just it's incredible it is the future we all know it's the future that's why we're here especially you hardcore guys that that watch this channel still when we just do bitcoin ta and just have general rants i mean we all we all know it crypto is the future we all know that is where things are going even even if even if it doesn't become like the uh the dominating uh, monetary um system for the whole world in like the next 10 years even if it doesn't happen again it's the rate of change it is growing its ecosystem is growing faster than anything else um therefore assets within that ecosystem are going to grow faster than anything else even if they don't ultimately take over the world um we clearly got escape velocity beyond what governments can do governments can't even can't even um basically it, the, the whole might of the american empire the american military can't even just keep a load of guys in caves in 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 middle eastern countries um basically from controlling their own country i mean if they can't do that to just to individual little countries anymore or project their power i mean how are they going to basically try and um control crypto markets that are all 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 global consuming um the, ho the whole system pretty much basically the answer is they can't they may try but they may realize they can't they may just think right we need to we need just to embrace this 
um, because um, otherwise, I mean, yeah, we will, they will get left behind. Um, I know this is an argument that people always say. You always hear like the American crypto people um, just saying, we don't want to get left behind. We don't want to get left behind in this new technology. Um, and it's like sort of cliche as that is within crypto. I mean, literally, they don't want to get left behind. They don't, they don't, they don't want to be those people. Um, and I, shouldn't, I, I didn't mean to say this in like, I didn't mean to say this in like a humorous way, but America doesn't want to be those people that are like falling from the planes as they, as they, as they leave um, Bagram Airport um, in Afghanistan. Um, so they don't want to be falling out of the planes, getting left behind basically, or just be getting left behind on the ground. They, they need to, they kind of need to um, somehow try and embrace and control it. So it's obviously be a balancing act um but they will um they will try and do their best but america is such a fractured fractured socially and politically now anyway so it is such uh, there is such a dichotomy such a uh, a basically people can't see eye to eye anymore there um so they are they just can struggle in general so for them to put on a a a, a like a combined mounted effort against the against the world to try and preserve their currency uh against against basically the uh, you can you mean you can use negative words such as the threat um but realistically it's just uh it's just uh it's just an evolution of money isn't it into into something better uh into something better and more and more fair so it will cl it clearly has its problems and it will have problems going forward because everything does but um it's like it's like democracy it's uh, it's the worst form of government apart from all the others um so yeah there you go anyway <laughs> there's our sunday morning rant done crypto is the future excellent we don't need to look at gold anymore um yeah if we look at silver as well uh silver 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 um here we go um yeah silver also trying to make a little bit of a move silver um obviously look at the gold silver ratio massively has been massively under under uh, underperforming um but it did hit it did hit an important level where we are now getting rejected from um so this would be a level where obviously we would expect to uh, just it'd be fine to bounce back up to get rejected from and come back down and that's that is what we're seeing here as you can see as, as seeing as you can see um, but what I would say, um, I, I mean, uh, as much as much as um, Peter Schiff, I don't agree with some of his things, um, and I don't even think he agrees with some of them. He's just, um, he's just, he just has to stick to the, stick to his views. Um, but he is, he is good to listen to his podcast because generally, um, generally speaking, he does, he does obviously know what he's talking about. But yeah, when it comes to the silver market, obviously, uh, gold, the, gold has been, gold has been struggling. Um, silver is high beta, so silver obviously, basically, if you think gold's going down, gets sold to more than gold. Um, so gold has been of silver has been outperforming gold, but if silver is going to recover, you'd expect silver then to um, retrace those gains versus gold, and then some, and then so yeah. I mean, I am looking at this to come down from here, assuming gold does make that move above eighteen forty and start to start to basically move higher. I mean, we are, we are at an inflection point in the medium term, it seems, for lots of markets. Um, the dollar the dollar index looking like it's going to come down. Gold looking like it's potentially going to break up. Gold silver ratio, which is 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 like it's an ass it's a it's um it is a it is a barometer of risk and uh, much of the same way as bitcoin dominance is as a barometer of risk obviously higher beta altcoins are moving against the uh, the more stable the more stable less risky bitcoin and um, but yeah so that looking like it's going to reverse the the, do the bitcoin dominance looking looking weak the ethereum satoshi pairing looking strong i mean yeah i mean even the fear obviously the fear values as well clearly looking like they're gonna they're gonna make a move up um in all likelihood so yeah things are looking good this is looking like an exciting week um i know there's that um there's that um that meme going about that september is a september is a weak year for a week yet a week month um for cryptos but i've seen some statistical analysis showing basically like what usually happens and what's happened this year for each individual month of this year and it does seem that it's pretty much the opposite is happening happening on most of months this year anyway so it would uh, it would just it would be i wouldn't then at least look at that overall to say that oh well september is weak so we're going to go down but ultimately it's going to come down to what traditional markets do um if the, if they if the if stock markets do have a pullback if the dollar does have a bounce um then yeah i mean again crypto um, can struggle but i would i would um i would propose um the the idea that basically bitcoin um basic that we've had those moves the dollar has had a nice rally um well not the stock market hasn't really had a pullback um but bitcoin certainly has had its pullback based on that and now we are and now we are onwards and upwards to um to new all-time highs and then potentially towards 100k so yeah think things are looking good things are looking good 
Um, yeah, I mean, I am particularly excited by this week. I do think we are going to get some fireworks. I do think we are going to, over the next couple of weeks, potentially establish that upper range for this sideways range. You never know where it could be. We could we could even break our way all the way up to um, that fifty-eight and a half thousand dollar level, and then we could actually start to consolidate within there, within there, and fifty thousand, and we can just completely um, forget about back testing the uh, forty-one, forty-two thousand. That could be a potential scenario and if that does happen if that does happen and we break above onwards and upwards but if that does happen we consolidate silos and then do break below maybe then we do get that test down to 41 42 um, and then obviously or we'll hold our breath and hopefully move back up but yeah we could be looking at that we could be looking at that we have looked very strong um, we are looking like we can break up. I don't think this sort of sideways consolidation at 50k um, is going to get resolved by a, a move just to around 52, 53k. I think it does need to. I think it does need to move higher. Um, so yeah, maybe 58, 58 and a half. I mean, maybe higher. I don't. Maybe higher. I do think there will be. Um, I do think there will have to be. Well, there won't have to be, but I do think there's a very high likelihood of if we get up to 58 and a half k, there will be a uh, a medium term at trading sideways at least maybe between there and 50k that is that is for me the most um bullish reasonably bullish scenario that i can that i could foresee but obviously markets especially crypto do what you don't expect but but yeah so very very ex very exciting time i i'm very much looking forward to the next trading week um, we can even see just even in this just a tiny little bit of price action here we did try to get a pullback and it was just bought up so massively aggressively um, that clearly the market is uh, is displaying bullish tendencies uh, to, to say the least so obviously everything is statistics and probabilities um, but um, statistically and probability wise uh, it is looking good um, so yeah there we go guys uh, this is not financial advice uh, there is uh, there is your crypto pep talk for the morning like ho hopefully hopefully we've rallied the troops and um, yeah I shall speak to you guys soon